hey and welcome back now the div just like all almost all other html tags must have a closing so you open it you close it you open it you close it if i take this entire div that's one div let's say this div was dealing with something like the main page and then i also have another div that has the sidebar so it would be before this div or after this div so no matter how many divs you have on a page your job in html is to create the divs and then you will use css to style the divs so going back to this it is css that you will use to position the div here and then to position these others here so it is css that you'll use for styling the div so let's take a look at an example if i come back to the code here let me remove some of this that will just confuse us so the div is open here and the div is closed there it's closed here and this is just a comment don't worry about this this is just a, another comment this is one comment this is also another comment so if i take this div and copy it and i put it somewhere here divs think of divs like blocks they separate and group so if you want menus to be grouped somewhere else you can use a div so let's say in this div we just want these paragraphs paragraphs so before i go on let me come here and reload so that we can see the changes oh reload the page not the so you can see the div so this is the first div this is the second div so let's say i wanted this div to be this side and the other div to be located and this other div to be located on this side you'll have to do that using css the job of html is to just put them there and if where you want to put them you will have to use css to style them so you can also have a div within a div so if i take this and uh, put it here this is the point where i have to indent it so if you're using sublime and on windows you'll just do control and control and the left brackets so you can see this is a div within a div this is a div so this div has this element and this div has this element let's remove this So in this course my goal is just to introduce you to html you see how things are and then in future courses which will also be very soon we will create html pages with css from the ground up without using any uh, html framework we'll build something so that you can learn how it is done so that even if you get a template you can edit it and use it as your own so if i go to the browser and i reload this you'll see this one is here so let me separate them using a header well the video is becoming long enough and i don't want it to be too long so i'm going to stop here but i'm going to continue in the next video with this so i will see you in the next video